<laughs> All right, guys, it's Lord Ryujin, one of bringing you another YouTube video exclusive. This time, I'm going to do something that I normally don't do. I'm going to bring you two videos in a month. That's right, two videos. The first video, I'm going to talk about E3 and what I'm, what, I'm expect, what I'm expecting from them, what I would like to see. The next video, I'm going to do after E3, and I'm going to do my thoughts on it as, as far as, you know, what what I was happy to see, what I wasn't so happy to see, um, what I wanted to see more of, or maybe what I wish they didn't even talk about. Uh, and I can already tell you something from Microsoft that I I'm, don't want to hear anything about, but we'll get into that with the next video. Um, as far as expectations go, this is the first time I think in E3 history where I didn't really have a lot of uh, expectations going into it, other than on the, other than on the Nintendo end, because uh, we know that Nintendo is going to bring us um, the Wii U. You know, let's let's face it, that's what it's called. They're not going to change the name of it, but they're going to bring us the Wii U, and they're going to show off the specs a little bit more. It's not going to be less powerful than this generation. Let's get over that. There's no way that that can be possible. Even if they use technology from five years ago, it's twice as powerful as the 360 and the PS3 and the Wii that use technology from almost 10 years ago. So there's no way that that can be. Also, I don't think the developers would even try to touch it if it was less powerful. Because look at the Wii. The Wii was the less powerful of the three um, consoles for this generation. And a lot of developers did not want to touch it. So the fact that developers are touching it, they want to bring games over, that tells you that it's at least as powerful as this generation, if not more powerful. Um, but enough of that. We're going to finally get the specs of it, lay, lay that rumor to rest, and we're finally going to get, you know, to see probably a lot of third-party games coming from it. But as far as first-party goes, I would love to see Zelda. Zelda, of course, is my all-time favorite game series. I've loved it from the beginning. It was actually probably one of the first games that I started playing on the NES back in the day. So, with that being said, I would love to see a Zelda for the 3DS. Not a not Majora's Mask remake. You can go play it on Virtual Console. You can go play it on Wii U Virtual Console and all that stuff. You can, you know, there's no point in playing Majora's Mask. You know. Um, I love Majora's Mask. I'll play it on my 64. I don't need it on, you know, I don't need a, I don't need a 3D remake. I did not like the Ocarina of Time 3D remake. There was no point in it. I want a new Zelda. So hopefully this year's E3 we can get a new Zelda for the 3DS as well as hear more about the Zelda high definition experience for the Wii U. That would just knock my socks off. In addition to that, I would love to hear about a new Metroid game. Wii U or 3DS, it doesn't matter. Just a new Metroid game would be fantastic to hear about. Um, also, I would love to hear what Retro has been working on. We know they've been working on a project, uh, and, they, and all they've said is it's something that the fans want us to work on. So I'm hoping it's Star Fox. We haven't heard from Star Fox in a while. The last original game we got was Star Fox on the DS. So we haven't gotten a new Star Fox for the DS. Uh, 3DS, and we haven't gotten a new Star Fox on the Wii, so hopefully with the Wii U, we'll finally get a new Star Fox game. In addition, um, just as far as maybe, you know, from, from, from some third-party games, I would love to, he to finally get Mad World 2 from Sega. Loved Mad World 1, I thought it was very innovative, uh, and I would like to see that. I would also like to see No More Heroes 3. Uh, and <laughs> just in my personal opinion, I heard that they were making another Eternal Darkness, and I would just pass out at that point if there was another Eternal Darkness game. So those are just some predictions. I don't know what else is going to come uh, from Nintendo at E3, but that's something that I would like to see. Don't get your hopes up on a new 3DS, people. I've already expressed this on forums and on blogs and on comment sections. I don't think that the 3DS is going to get any smaller. I believe that it's already been customized and fitted to be as small as it can possibly be. If you add in a second analog stick, you got to make it bigger. If you're going to add in um, the second set of shoulder buttons and make it basically work with the Circle Pad Pro, it's got to be bigger like the Circle Pad Pro made it. 
Um, also, in addition, I would like to see from Microsoft. I don't know. I <laughs> mean, we already know that Microsoft and Sony have no plans to um, talking about or at least releasing next generation consoles. So, and there's been no rumors of that. So, unless they're, unless they're lying and they and they do reveal like the PlayStation 4 and the next Xbox. Uh, I don't know what to expect from Sony and from Microsoft outside of the usual stuff another Uncharted game maybe a Twisted Metal sequel um, you know they're probably going to show up God of War Ascension um, stuff like that you know j just the usual stuff that you can expect from Microsoft I really think that Nintendo is going to be the one to look at they're going to be the one that's really going to knock uh, the presentation out of the water like they did last year like they did the year before that like they do every year Nintendo gives the better presentations, in my opinion. Uh, but as far as games go, I've already mentioned a few for Nintendo. I would like to hear about more about Fable of the Journey, uh, only because I just think that Kinect needs more games. It needs some really good third-party, you know, first-party support. It just needs that support. It doesn't need the little shovelware that it keeps getting. Uh, it needs to get more like what Rise of Nightmares was where it tries to actually fully integrate you and your body into the game. Um, same thing with the move, you know, let's hear more let's hear more about the move and maybe just tease us about some next gen consoles. You know? Or what will really make my day is if Microsoft actually announced a portable. I don't think they're going to. Just based upon the Windows Phone 7. That seems like they're making that their portable. But I would like to see that. But only E3 will tell. And I'm sorry this video is short, but again, not really a whole lot to expect from E3 this year. Like I said earlier on, that this is kind of a weird year for E3 because for the first time I don't really have a good grasp of what to expect from Sony and from Microsoft other than just showing off games that they've already announced. Nintendo will really be the one to look at this year. Um, so expect a lot from them. But uh, go ahead and comment below about what you would like to see because I would love to hear some ideas because maybe there's something that <laughs> I didn't even think of it happens um, as well as maybe comment about what you thought do, do you think that any of the games that I suggested are going to show up do you think that they're not going to show up or even be talked about at all I love to hear input because there's just sometimes that I don't think about stuff or sometimes my thought process is way off in the left field and somebody logical sits down and goes no that can't happen so I'd like to hear from you guys, be sure that you like, subscribe as always, and I'll see you after E3.